kids, I'm Pastor Angie, and I'm so excited that we're on week one of our Amazed series. Let me ask you a question. Is it always easy to take care of your pets? Yeah, I didn't think so. But in today's Bible story, we're going to hear about how God took care of Elijah. But God did not do it in a normal way. He used a very unusual way to take care of Elijah. But first, let's check in with the rest of our team and see what they're up to. Good morning, kids. I'm Pastor Ashley, and I can't wait to get the service started with a worship song. So everyone, let's get up and worship God with all of our hearts and all of our strength. That's a Snapchat Boomerang with the praise And the right back Man we hide in the sky No turn back If it be our last night Leave it all here No fear Be clear This is your year Let go of anything That isn't God's steer By seeing with the dream And it's so clear Yeah so clear And you know wherever you go I'ma stick close They gon' think we a duo Bond so tight Hug it out like a sumo And I never think twice You the boss of my life No you go And this world not down with us They can try to limit faith But it's down to us Man love so deep Not again to us When the blessing comes down Man the praise go up Yeah
Hi kids, I'm Alana. Can you guess how many Skittles are in here? I'll give you the final answer at the end of the service, so stay tuned. Now we'll go ahead and do our memory verse together and see what cool Carl and Cassie are up to. Deuteronomy 7 verse 21. The Lord your God, who is present with you, is a great and awesome God. Deuteronomy 7 verse 21. The Lord your God, who is present with you, is a great and awesome God. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. I'm not gonna lie. I think today might just be the perfect day. I mean, what could go wrong? Oh no. Welcome to Grill TV! Hosted by Carl! Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grill TV! Easy, Carl. Take a deep breath. Everything's gonna be okay. Hey there, chicken nuggets. I seem to be, uh, I'm just, I, there's a big problem, y'all. I'm out of food! Now, I don't wanna overreact because I always carry extra snacks for times like these. So let's not all freak out. I keep my extra snacks in my snack bag here, so. Let's see what we got. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. This can't be. Is this the end? Is this what it comes to? A life with no snacks? No goldfish? No jello pudding? How can I move on? How will I live my dreams? Will my questions ever be answered? Questions like, why do croutons come in tightly sealed bags? Aren't they just stale blocks of bread anyway? TJ's calling. Carl, how's it going, man? TJ, I need your help. Easy, man, easy. You look like you about to pass out. TJ, I don't have much time. The most dire circumstances have fallen upon me. The world as I know has began to crumble all around my starving and worn out feet. I can barely stand, for the weight of this life has become too heavy to bear. Bruh, are you gonna tell me what's going on? Okay, okay. You may wanna sit down for this one, though. Okay, I'm sitting. Well, I'm out of snacks. <laughs> hey, why are you laughing? Oh man, look, I'm I'm so sorry, bro. I just couldn't help it. I, I <laughs> can't help it. You're laughing at me, and I'm helpless over here. Helpless? Come on, Carl. Listen. I think we should jump into today's story. A story? At a time like this? How could I do that? Well, I think the story will help you understand your situation better. If you think so, but only one story, because if I wait too long, I might start eating my sweater. It looks delicious. Carl, snap out of it, man. <laughs> Listen, do you remember the, the story about the guy named Elijah in the Bible? Yeah, I think so. His stories were in the Old Testament, right? Yeah, yeah. He was a prophet and he loved God a whole lot. Sounds like a good person to me. Yeah, 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 he was. And there was a time when God told Elijah that there was gonna be a drought in the land. Drought? What's a drought? Is that like a drowning trout? Not exactly. A, a drought is when it doesn't rain for a long, long time. Got it, so no water. Now there was a man named Ahab who was looking to hurt Elijah. Oh no, I hope Elijah will be okay. So God told Elijah to run away east of the Jordan. When Elijah finally went to hide, he found a brook, which is a small stream of water to drink from. But I thought there was no water. Well, that's the cool thing. God provided that water so Elijah could drink. And get this, God also sent birds to send food to Elijah. Well, that is insane. Well, just wait. 
Elijah was told by God to go to a town where he would meet a widow. With shutters or curtains? <laughs> Not a window, a widow. Elijah asked for some bread and a drink, but the widow said she had very little oil and flour left over. Because of the drought, she was pretty sure her and her son would not make it. Oh no, that's awful. It was, but God made sure that there was enough food and water for Elijah and the whole family. But, oh no. One day, the boy got really sick and died. The mother told Elijah what had happened, hoping he could do something about it. So what happened? Well, Elijah went to where the boy was and prayed to God several times. And guess what happened? What? He came back to life. Hallelujah! That's amazing! It is. And you know why I told you that story, Carl? Because you knew talking about bread would make me more hungry? Nope. To let you know that God provides and God cares about what you need. Wow! I guess you're right. It's amazing. God takes care of me. It's even more amazing that you said our big idea. <gasps> Today's big idea is, it's amazing. God takes care of me. That's right. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, a two, three. It's, it's amazing, amazing God, God takes, takes care, care of me. me. Woohoo! God sure does. Takes care of me and takes care of you. God takes ta uh, care of all of us. Yes. So, Carl, I think you're gonna be okay. I think you're right. I should have known that God would take care of me. Plus, I know your Mima. She got snacks everywhere. That's true. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I found one. Carl, no, don't, don't. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Um. Five minute rule. That's a thing. Oh. Is that a hair? That's, that's nasty. All right, guys. Um, we'll see you guys uh, next week. All right. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. All right, we're going to read 1 Kings 17, 1 through 9. Now, Elijah was a prophet from the town of Tishbe in Delhi. Elijah said to King Ahab, I serve the Lord, the God of Israel. As surely as the Lord lives, I tell you the truth. No rain or dew will fall during the next few years unless I command it. Then the Lord spoke his word to Elijah. Leave this place. Go east and hide near Kareth Ravim. It is east of the Jordan River. You may drink from the brook and I have commanded ravens to bring you food there. So Elijah did what the Lord told him to do. He went to Kareth Ravim, east of the Jordan, and lived there. The birds brought Elijah bread and meat every morning and every evening, and he drank water from the brook. After a while, the brook dried up because there was no rain. Then the Lord spoke his word to Elijah. Go to Zebrath in Sidon. Live there. I have commanded a widow there to take care of you. Now, boys and girls, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been on a road trip and your stomach started growling, making funny noises? And you asked your parents, is it going to be a time to stop for lunch? But they told you it's not going to be for a while. Well, that kind of happened to Elijah. See, there was no food or water in the land, but God took care of him. God provided water for Elijah at a brook, which is a stream of water. And then when it was time to eat, how did God provide meat and bread to Elijah? Anybody? Yes, God took care of Elijah by sending ravens to provide his food. Really neat, right? We are going to show you something Pretty cool. Anyone want to see? When I at first, when I added the water to the plate, look, look at all the colors. It's cool to see how little candies can be part of something so amazing. God does amazing things all the time when we would think is impossible, especially when it comes to taking care of us.
There are 1,474 Skittles in this jar. Some of you came close and some weren't very close at all. Wouldn't it be so amazing if someone could take one look at this jar and tell you exactly how many Skittles were in it? Did you know God knows exactly how many hairs are on your head? It doesn't matter how much or how little hair you have, God knows even that smallest detail about you. God cares about you that much. All right guys, 1 Kings 17, 10 through 16 says this. So Elijah went to Zarephath. When he reached the town gate, he saw a widow there. She was gathering wood for a fire. And Elijah asked her, would you bring me a little water in a cup? I would like to have a drink. As she was going to get his water, Elijah said, please bring me a piece of bread too. The woman answered, as surely as the Lord your God lives, I tell you the truth, I have no bread, I have only a handful of flour in a jar, and I have only a little olive oil in a jug. I came here to gather some wood, I will take it home, and cook our last meal. My son and I will eat it and then die from hunger. Elijah said to her, don't worry, go home and cook your food as you have said, but first make a small loaf of bread from the flour you have, bring it to me, then cook something for yourself and your son. The Lord, the God of Israel says, that jar of flour, flour that jar of flour will never become empty and the jug will always have oil in it. This will continue until the day the Lord sends rain to the land. So the woman went home and she did what Elijah told her to do. So Elijah, the woman and her son had enough food every day. The jar of flour and the jug of oil never went empty. This happened just as the Lord through Elijah said it would. See, the widow only had enough oil and flour to make one more meal for herself and her son. Man, can you imagine? Only having enough oil and then knowing you're gonna run out. But God said that he would provide for her and for her son. And he said, oil will always be there. So every time she went to go get oil out of her jar or her jug, my goodness, there was always oil there. It is amazing how God provided for her and it's amazing how God provided for her and her son and how she always had enough oil to last her all the way until the rain came back um, to the land. God cares about us so much, God actually wants us to give all of the things we're worried about over to God. We don't have to worry about anything because God is going to take care of us. When you're feeling overwhelmed, sad, or afraid, how can you give your cares to God? Elijah, has, Elijah had to have been feeling overwhelmed, sad, or afraid too. When he, realized, when he realized there would not be enough food to eat, God provided for him in amazing ways. We will also be amazed by how God cares for us. Maybe you're still learning how much God loves you and how he sent his only son to bridge the gap between him and us. He sent Jesus to pay for the punishment of sin by dividing on the cross for us. So, if you never asked Jesus to be your best friend and leader of your life, I want you to know it's as easy as ABC. A, admit. Admit that you have sinned against God and have made mistakes. B, believe. Believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and rose from the dead on the third day. And C, confess. Confess Jesus as the savior of life and commit to following him. Let's close out in a worship song, and kids, let's listen to what the Holy Spirit has to say to you today.
special week this week. I love you big. All right, everyone. Know that you're super special and give yourself a tie squeeze and love you real big. Bye.